Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to fit a new head unit stereo into my Discovery 2 TD5. Let's have a look at what I bought. This is the box. So the idea of this is when I go green lane in um, instead of using my phone for maps I want to use the head unit because it's slightly bigger it supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay it's just a cheap Chinese unit cost me 53 quid I think it was delivered and hopefully it will do the job so let's have a quick look what we get here so we've got connector blocks Remote control, a little microphone so you can use your phone, take calls, that's another big advantage because I don't have that at the moment. Um. Alright, so this is a 7 inch screen. Now, there were bigger ones available, similar price or a little bit more, and I cut them 10 20 quid more. However, I'm kind of limited so on, the D, on the D2, limited to you know how you can uh, fit this within the cable and I didn't want it too big either because I've got a um, a pod above with all the switches and obviously I don't want that to be to be blanked out so I can't get access to my switches so so here it is this is what it's like just have a look at the connectors on the back so we've got um, outputs for the audio left and right for the amp we've got two video outs one and two so if you want extra screens in the headrests or whatever uh, we've got analog input video and we've got a camera so it's sort of like a rear version camera input and obviously your aerial so uh, we're going to fit this today and see what it's like so i'm just looking at the uh, wiring instructions here and these do not line up with what's on the back so I'm going to ignore these, go with these and then just, just do a general, I mean there's pretty much standard anyway so that's what I'm going with. Right so <clears throat> these are the options you get through connecting your phone to the head unit. So obviously you've got iPhone and Android, CarPlay or mirroring. Okay? So Android Auto, connect your phone up. And here we have Android Auto installed. So you can use whatever you want. Or use Waze or Messenger, whatever you want. Google Maps. So that would be the same if you're using an iPhone or an Android. And of course the other option is to do the mirroring, which is... Uh, I'll show you now. Okay, so this is the mirroring feature. So to make this work, you have to download an APK onto your Android phone. Once that's installed, as you can see, I have Outdoor Active Maps on my phone and on my screen. And you can see, you can play with it on your head unit. So here we can have, there you go, there's the Ridgeway. Phone link is also just showing, it says it's USB. Yeah, there is one on the back as well, I think. It supports uh, SD card or micro SD card in here. You've also got a microphone up there. And obviously it supports Bluetooth. Um, AV in, so you can have a camera. I haven't got a camera at the moment. Uh, and aux in. Touch of music. And it's got a calculator, if you so wish to use. The setup, obviously you can do all the different setups, um, including the steering wheel, you can put logos in there, display set in the backgrounds, screen savers, etc. Time, display settings, sound set. So you can do all your equalizer, as I said earlier. Um, the logo, I'm guessing you can enter a, put a logo in there, not found out how to do that yet. And it's got a calendar. So you can put in 
Um, walks in. Yeah, it's pretty good. It sounds really good. It's quite loud. Obviously, you can't hear that because of copyright issues. Um, so the only thing I haven't found out to do yet is to, when you've got your phone connected, is to have the radio on at the same time. So still got to play with that. But for 52 quid, 52, 48, something like that. It's um, pretty impressive. Anyway, hope you like the video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.